Mr. Fluffy Pants here, and today I just got back from watching Venom, so I'm going to go and do a review on it. Um, beginning part's going to be spoiler free, and then I'm going to go into spoilers, I'll let you know, you know. But, yeah, Venom is a newer version of Venom from Spider-Man 3. It's like a reboot or whatever in Sony's own universe, apparently, but I actually do enjoy Spider-Man 3, believe it or not. Um, Venom in it, he's okay. I like Black Suit Spider-Man pretty good, though. Venom, he's okay, but this new movie I thought was really good. Um... I mean, it ain't perfect, but it's really good. If you haven't seen it, definitely go see it. You'll have fun at the theater, at least. Um, definitely fun, at least. Tom Hardy in it. He is awesome in it. And then Venom and Tom Hardy's dynamic arguing always with each other is pretty dang cool. Because um, he can hear it in his head, but no one else can. And then, I'm trying not to spoil too much for people that haven't seen it yet, but the end credit scene is pretty good. doesn't really... It's kind of a little tease, but it doesn't really give you too much, which I kind of like. Um, and it, there was a rumor about it a couple months ago, which that rumor was pretty much dead on. Um, so whenever I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, look at that. And there is a Stan Lee cameo, because I did not know if there was one or not, but there is a Stan Lee cameo. Um, it's not that good though, if I'm going to be completely honest with myself. But then the main villain, Riot, um, you know, he's in the trailers and all. He's okay. Venom, though, Venom's awesome. I love his full-on symbiote look. Um, even though it ain't in the movie as long as I would like it to be, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, and another thing is, I find kind of weird, is the whole movie is kind of gray-colored or color-graded kind of gray. Because it takes place in San Francisco, and it shows like a wide shot during the day at the San Francisco Bridge. And the bridge is like, instead of being red like it should be, it's like completely gray. It looks so funny. Um, and then, like, during the final battle, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil anything, I promise, but, like, whenever the two symbiotes are fighting, you can't really see, see as much as I'd like to, because they're both black and gray, and it's kind of, the movie's already got a gray color palette, and then, plus it being at night also. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for a spoiler, so it's pretty good. Um, go see it if you want to, and it's a fun movie. Tom Hardy's go. That's all I got for the spoiler-free review, so now we're going to do spoilers. Mm. Excuse me. But spoilers, um, so the main thing that the symbiotes want, so like, Brett, or Carlton Drake, which is the owner of the life, or founder of the Life, life Foundation, he sends a space shuttle in the space to collect some symbiote samples that are on a comet. And there's like thousands of life forms on this comet. And he gets four samples, I believe. So then that ship, you know, crashes the Earth and like one of them gets loose and they contain the other three. So they bring the other three back there and then one's on the loose, obviously. But um, one thing I found interesting is the symbiote's overall plan, they wanted to be captured. So the symbiotes want to go to earth because they want to eat I guess um and they want to so the four that went there they were wanting to go back up to the comet and bring everyone else down so they can eat it take over earth which I thought was a little weird Venom's like that too but he changes it like near the end of the movie because he's like I like this place I like you Eddie blah 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 so he changes his place and tries to stop Riot from bringing all the other symbiotes to earth um so then Eddie becomes involved. With this. He's a reporter. He has like a show called the Eddie Brock Report or something like that. And his next interview is um, Carlton Drake, which he really does not like. Um, he thinks he's pretty dirty and stuff, which he is. Um, so he interviews him and he starts getting his stuff that he shouldn't be interviewing him about because he didn't want to do an interview in the first place because he thought he was a really bad person. But he starts interviewing him um, and starts asking these questions about the liability, people suing him and debt wrongful causes of death and all because um, the people that were in the shuttle that crashed um, and you know with the sim four symbiotes um, yeah I think all of them died one of them still was alive that's because one of the symbiotes overtook them but then I'm pretty sure they died at like an ambulance crash you saw in the movie but um so Eddie becomes involved with that so he gets fired from his job which also in turn gets his girlfriend or fiance fired um, because she is working under a law eternity firm that's un that's working for Carlton Drake but she doesn't work for him directly or whatever but that gets her fired indirectly because I don't know but somehow so then she breaks up with him and he's kind of like at a low point 
So then um, there's this girl scientist that works at the Life Foundation that um, kind of thinks that all this stuff's kind of shady and all that. So she tries to get Eddie Brock um, to help her take down Carlos and Drake and all. Um, so then she sneaks Eddie into the Life Foundation and she tells him not to touch anything as she's trying to distract the security guard and all that. So then um, he goes in and he he sees someone he knows that's a homeless person which he's kind of friends with on the street and she's in there yelling for Eddie to help her because Carlton Drake he's getting homeless people poor people to sign these waivers that they don't really know what it says but just to get them off the street give them money you know and they were signing up for human test subjects with the symbiotes to see if they could you know fuse them or whatever um so he sees one of the people he knows that um, he's pretty friendly with her, but she's like begging him to um, get her out, so he breaks her out, and then she jumps on top of him, and then the symbiote that was inside of her goes into Eddie, which turns out to be Venom. So that's how we get Venom. And another thing I thought was pretty interesting is that two of the other symbiote dies because they gotta have human hosts to be able to survive on our planet. So whenever the host ain't perfect, um, and they don't have any other hosts, they die, so two of the symbiotes die. So he's only two left, Venom and Riot. Um, so that's how we get, like, our main conflict at the end. It's like battling on a space shuttle or whatever. And then a certain amount of hurts kills them, and also fire kills them, I thought, which I thought, I knew, like, the hurt that ran out of storage, but I'm going to try to speed this up. I was talking about how I thought fire was a little weird that killed them, but I knew, like, the hurts killed them and all, but, um, but I just wish... Okay, I'm just going to jump around a little bit. I wish Venom, like I said, in the spoiler free version, I wish he was in the movie a little bit more because sometimes, like, if he's, like, full on Venom, like, he jumps through a window and then, like, he goes below camera and then Eddie pops up. Like, I wish we got to see more of that on screen. But, overall, this is a very fun, enjoyable movie. Um, the end credit scene with Cletus Cassidy. Eddie Brock gets his job back at the end and whatever. And then he gets the interview with Cletus Cassidy, which somehow knows about the symbiotes because he's like, I'm going to break out of here soon, which he's played by Woody Harrelson. <coughs> but I heard a rumor like back in July, so I wasn't really surprised to tell you the truth. But um, somehow either he's already got Carnage or he knows something about Carnage, which I think so. If he knows something about Carnage and he doesn't have Carnage yet, that's a little weird, but... Um, <coughs> sorry. But that's pretty much all I want to really say about Venom anyway. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. If you saw Venom, what'd you think of it? If you didn't see Venom, are you going to go see it? Um, check me out on Twitter at Fluffy Pants Red. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!